Detlev, firstly, thank you very much for taking some time out to talk to me while I'm here in Berlin. We'll start by talking about the World Health Summit itself. Tell me about the history of the event. Well, the beginning really was the 300th anniversary of the Charité University Medicine Berlin. Uh, we were celebrating, of course, the past, the 300 years of uh, great scientific tradition at the Charité. And one of the uh, professors at the Charité really developed the concept of health which is much more than medicine, of course, was Rudolf Virchow, who is depicted on the picture behind me. So we are celebrating in the 300 year anniversary celebration, the tradition of Rudolf Virchow, and we invited the world of medicine, the world of health to Berlin to celebrate with us. And this was really the beginning of the World Health Summit. There's obviously a lot of history and connection there, but what else makes Berlin a good city to hold an event like this? Well, Berlin has always been a city of science, of course, and, and a city of health. And uh, in addition to Rudolf Virchow, there was the discovery of the tubercle bacillus, Robert Koch. And there was uh, Emil von Behring, who developed the diphtheria toxin. And uh, I have learned, actually, I have come to Berlin after German reunification. I have learned the value of tradition here in the city. So people like to come because it's, you know, one of the origins of modern medicine and Berlin now is a free city and science can only flourish in freedom with complete transparency of what is being done. You need to communicate what you're doing. You have to get new ideas. So I think Berlin is a fantastic place and people confirm that when they are coming. Fantastic place for these meetings, for communication, of science, of new results, of new data, of interacting of people and getting new uh, creative ideas about what you should have done, or what you would be interested to do after you go home from the meeting. How big is the summit? What's Berlin having to deal with when hosting the event here? Well, we uh, kind of organized this meeting as an academic meeting. The feeling is academia does have a responsibility. Medical progress is so fast but the status of health in the world is not improving, actually getting worse. So we do want to show that academia takes a responsibility for health in the world. And we want to do that at the campus of the Charité. The origin is the University Hospital of the Charité. So we do that in a very old traditional house of the uh, Medical Berlin Society. And we have about 1,500 participants from all over the world, 80 countries but it's a kind of homey event. People get to know each other personally. It's not a huge event. We want to have personal interaction and we want to have the leaders in politics, in civil society, in academia, in health economy, meet and then discuss what can be done to improve health in the world. What sort of relationship do you have working with a convention bureau to, to pull the event together? Well, uh, we are academicians and we are not organizers of meetings. Of course, we have the ideas of what should be done, what should be discussed, the topics, but the organization itself, we do need professional help. And the Berlin Convention Bureau, of course, and the organizers are extremely important to make Berlin a hospitable city, a city where people feel comfortable, show us and show the visitors where to go, what to do when the meeting is over in the evening. So these social events, of course, an important part of such a scientific meeting. It's uh, about scientific discussion, but in addition, it's also in getting to know each other, getting to know the place, getting to know the people. So uh, the Convention Bureau certainly is uh, extremely helpful. Without them, we would not dare to organize such a big international Congress. And I think that works both ways. Right, it's a, it's a give and take. We, we have our expertise, they have their expertise, and bringing that together, of course, makes the story uh, a successful story. And when you're trying to bring people together from all corners of the world, it's important that it's a good geographical location and accessible, which Berlin is. Well, Berlin, indeed, uh, some people say it's in the center of Europe. Uh, and uh, if you look at Europe as such, and, and with Eastern and Western Europe, indeed, uh, you know, it, it, it has a key place. And, and uh, Eastern European countries and Western European countries 
like to come to Berlin actually because it's well connected. So, so yes, Berlin is a nice place and a very popular place for this type of convention. But uh, we are seven billion people on earth and there are certain countries, low and middle income countries, where health is in very bad shape. And it's important to get them involved in the whole process of, of uh, developing new health programs and developing means to bring scientific data to the people and, and various countries which do not have access to modern medicines. Yes, and that is all about networking, about uh, different countries, different disciplines, different professions. And for this you need a hospitable place and you need an environment which is friendly, which is open, which is free, no barriers. And that is what we try to create with the Berlin Convention Bureau, of course, but within the academic setting of the uh, Charité University Medicine.